If there's one thing that I learned on this walk of Christ is that you need to incorporate quiet time. Every time that I have fallen into sin or I just felt so far away from God was when I wasn't incorporating quiet time at all. I realized that old ways would always creep back up because I wasn't incorporating my quiet time with God. In today's video, I'm here to tell you why quiet time is so important for your walk with Christ. The reason why quiet time is so important is because it gives us the chance to really reflect on the stressful day that we had and give it to God and give him all our problems, all of our worries, all of our burdens, things that you know may have tempted us really to pour our heart out to God. It's a scripture that I personally stick by as of lately, to be honest, and that's for with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I stick to that scripture because it gives me a reminder that I can't keep what I'm thinking bottled up inside. I can't just not open up in general. I can't like do these things on my own strength. I have to rely on somebody who is greater. And honestly, that scripture is really a humbling scripture because it makes me realize that I am weak and that I need somebody of a higher status to help me in this walk with Christ. Quiet time is so, it is so important because it really gives you a chance to connect with the Father. Say you're in a relationship. Obviously, you're gonna spend time with that person one-on-one -on -one to get to know them more. It's the same exact way with God. God wants to spend time with you. And it is so crucial in this walk of Christ because in spending that quiet time, He will reveal His will for you. He will reveal the plans that He has for you. He will reveal how he wants you to do things. He will reveal it in that quiet time. Now me, I was always a person that was just always busy and always on the move. And I would always say, oh God, like I just don't have no time in the day. Later on, when I started going on through life, I started realizing like I have time within the day. It's just, I don't make that time. When I realized that I knew I needed to incorporate quiet time at the end of the day. And ever since I've incorporated quiet time into my life, I've realized that the things that I would want to indulge in, the sinful behaviors that I would want to indulge in, I didn't want to do anymore. Now, by any means, I'm not saying that, oh, it's because of this work that I feel sinless. No, it's literally because of God. Going back into the scripture, for man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. It's because of God that I don't have these desires, probably temptations, but I don't have the desire to go back into my old lifestyle and I wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't just, if I hadn't gone into quiet time. And if you are a disciple who isn't incorporating quiet time and saying, because you have all these things, truth be told, you can incorporate it in any aspect of your life. Say you have a packed out day. You mean to tell me that you can put your time and your effort into all the things that the world have to offer, but you can't put your time into God for at least five minutes. And the beauty about quiet time, the, be the true beauty about quiet time is that at first it may feel new. It may feel daunting. You may not know like what to do or what to expect, but that's where leaning on the Lord's strength and the Lord's understanding comes into place. Once you start truly like going into your quiet time, your, your personal time with God, you're just gonna get addicted with it. You're gonna fall in love with it. Like you know, I started incorporating quiet time into my life the first day, I'm not going to lie, it felt weird. It truly did feel weird. Like it felt new because I never done something like this before. But the more I did it, the more I wanted to do it because I was able to truly pour out my heart to God and tell him the things that was stressing me out, the things that I struggled with, um, just my day overall and just truly opening up my heart to him, you know. And the more you do it, the more you get addicted to it and you get addicted to God. And that's truly a beautiful feeling. And once you get that feeling, you will never go back. Make sure y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and stay prayed up. I love all y'all. Peace and blessings.